So, we're not going to talk about uh, feminism, okay? Here's the deal. Uh, uh, here's the deal. Uh, Emma Watson is a feminist like uh, most women today, and uh, uh, they've been uh, they've been told that. Uh, okay, so here's the deal. The the powers that be decided they were going to take a course of birth control and discourage motherhood. So at all opportunities, they degraded motherhood. That was their goal. They, they want to get rid of birth, okay? So all society makes mothers losers, okay? They're losers. Everybody, oh, you had a baby. Oh, you're a loser. Oh, you're at home. You're a loser, right? So this is, you have to recognize, uh, like, like the military knows about propaganda. The government knows about propaganda. Uh, so the starting point is, our strategy is, we're gonna uh, have as much birth control to control population. Like the British are obsessed with population. They hate the Catholics, and uh, the primary thing they hate most is, is birth. Okay, it's a threat. Okay, because uh, from Catholics uh, breed soldiers, and they see soldiers as a asset and a threat. So the fundamental uh, dichotomy here is the British uh, have, uh, are doing a vicious campaign across the world to discourage birth. The Catholics see it as a uh, as a uh, army and shit. Okay, so let's look at this from an environmental stamp. First of all, God exists. The British completely fucked up. Like the British completely fucked up. Uh, the abysmal, right? Game over, right? The starting point is God doesn't exist. We can play God. We can do birth control. If God does exist, you're fucked. Okay, you gotta, you lost. You completely lost. Game over. Like, what do you do? Like, there's this thing in math called a counterexample, right? Um, like in math, you do uh, logical proofs and stuff, right? There's a classic joke. Uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, um, every proof fails with one counterexample, right? So it's like, in other words, like I don't care how smart you are, uh, you can if your if your starting point is God does not exist, and then after if point one is God does not exist, point two is therefore we do this, point three is and I can go like 20 steps down the road, and then someone nukes this. You're gonna be fucked. The whole thing's gone. Okay, everything's fucked. So all of Britain is fucked. You got to start over, right? You got to start over your whole strategic strategy, your whole goddamn government, because the whole government is built on the premise God does not exist. So I'm gonna let you do it, but let me just tell you something. Uh, environmentalism is based on uh, doing it the right way. Okay, the species, the environment have a right way, and uh, the uh, the uh, the. Uh, the rashness of the uh, environmentalists is actually hilarious. They're like, they're like so gentle in every other species. They're like, oh no, no, we don't want to dis- we don't want to disrupt the uh, the natural way it's supposed to work. And then they come into the like, and then they like tell us horror stories. They're like, yeah, this species is fucked up. They got like, uh, I don't know, uh, females growing penises and shit, man. And they like publish it. Right? They got, oh yeah, you got bad chemicals. Look at these frogs or some shit, right? Or they got like females, like fucking other females and shit. They, they publish this. The environmentalists, they're like, these chemicals are really bad. You know, look at this shit. Look at, the, look at these. The, they confuse all the sexual hormones in the frogs. And they say it's an environmental catastrophe. Okay. So, uh, let's be clear. The human species has always had war. God said it's necessary to, uh, um, re- to remove certain... Uh, uh, resource pigs in the uh, gene pool. Gene pool gets fucked up without war. And you can conjecture that uh, there's various sorts of forest fires in the, uh, in the human species. Famine, plague, and so forth. So like... <coughs> Here's the correct answer. Society needs to embrace birth and death because that's the only environmental way to do it. Um, if you try to stop birth and you try to stop death, it's a fundamentally, uh, it's a horrific, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a um, I, don't, I don't know how to compare this, but it's like, uh, it's the most, it's the worst environmental, environmentalism ever. It's like, uh, this is like so unnatural. This is completely fucked. And you actually think this is going to be sustainable. So, like, God said that uh, bees are spoiled rotten. Just look at a bee today, right? Oh, my God. It's got a whole field. It's like it's like the most, it's the easiest thing ever, right? So, like, a bee in the wild has to, like, really, like, hunt and work hard, right? 
So just think about this. How long is it going to take? How many generations before they get weak and degenerate, man? Like a, like a, like a, um, a pathetic, like really a pathetic example of what they used to be. And this starts getting these concerned, right? 300 years from now, maybe the bees are kind of like, you know, it's not going to be like uniform because we don't, the, you know, the bees aren't exactly uh, uh, like, I don't know. It wouldn't happen like uh, uniformly distributed, I would assume, right? But in general, like all the bees would be kind of like degenerates. Like, it's like these bees are a bunch of, like, uh, they, they're kind of weak, like all of them. But you're probably going to have a lot of genetic diversity. I don't see why that would disappear. But anyway, uh, so maybe it's not too much of a threat. But it is kind of fucked, though. Think about that. And uh, similarly in humans, right? Um, the male has always been in a protective... Uh, uh, they've been called upon to uh, to fight, okay? The human species, every male has always been called upon to fight, okay? That's how it's always been. And now we have a situation where uh, the police, for example, we have, first we've, we've stopped war. There, it's almost like it's, it's, we've had catastrophic success. It'd be hard to start a war. So uh, um, we've stopped war, okay? So uh, we got we got domestic, or we got, uh, um, there's a, uh, uh, here's the deal. The, uh, the fundamental male-female dynamic, a big part of it is the female looks to the male for security. And if, uh, and, uh, if you fuck that up, all the dynamics change. And, you know, look at the bee dances, right? They got these bee dances, crazy-ass shit, like, and they have incredible complexity. And you don't think any of that shit is existing in us, right? I mean, like, like uh, how do we know, like, what signals we're sending, what crazy-ass... I mean, it's like, you look at, like, ants and bees, and they get this incredible behavior, and it's all, like, uh, it's all based on, like... Uh, you know, like, uh, maybe, how, how does that work, right? How do they decide where to send the diggers to, uh, to go, like, uh, go ex do a new chamber, you know? They got this shit, like, all, like, chemically and instinct encoded, you know what I'm saying? And, like, uh, in a human, well, anyway, uh, uh, so, you know, it's, it's not, a, it's not, it's not a very similar comparison in a lot of ways, a bee colony to a human society, or an ant colony to a human society, but fundamentally, uh, um, I'll just tell you something. Uh, let's just take the Bible. Um, um, liberals are, uh, are plug their ears and ignore half the passages. Conservatives plug their ears and ignore the other half. The Bible is written because the human tribe has liberals and conservatives, or the hum human species as liberals and conservatives. It's like, um, a lot of people think, oh, well, we, we should get rid of all the liberals and then we'd have just conservatives. But that's not, the, that's like, it's like taking an ant colony, getting rid of all the soldiers or getting rid of all the diggers, right? They, oh, no, you don't really want an ant colony get rid of all the diggers, right? So there, there are, uh, there are, uh, there are, uh, you know, I don't know how you want to classify, you know, liberals, conservatives, uh, different pr professions, different cash, different, I don't know how you want to classify it, but in our society, there are uh, biologic, we're not, we are, some of us are biologically fit for certain roles. Some of us are biologically fit for certain roles. And it is, uh, um, and this is a, uh, this is a, uh, uh, it would be absurd to suddenly say, let's get rid of all the soldiers. What? I mean, this is kind of like fucked, right? Like, imagine an ant colony, get rid of all the soldiers. Or you get rid of all the, uh, um, the nurse ants, the ones that carry the eggs around. Like, what? You just got rid of all the nurse ants? That's it's a bad idea, right? Oh, no, we're going to make the other ones do it. Like, what? No, no, we're going to make, everybody's going to, like, evenly divide up all the shit, right? So now, now you got the soldiers carrying the eggs. You got the uh, the nurse ants, like, what are they doing? They're, uh, they're, the nurse ants are fighting. Now we got the nurse ants fighting. And now we got the uh, the workers are, uh, I don't know, they're... Uh, they're, 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 we got them as drones. We're using, we're using them in breeding stock. You know what? Okay, so like, come in and like, you like, you like, like, totally disrupt this shit. That's not, it's a bad situation. We shouldn't have like soldiers, nurses. We shouldn't have that like biologically encoded. We should like mix it all up because like that's more uh, fair. It's like, like imagine God looking at this whole thing. God's like, I set this shit up, and these these dumb fucks come in here, like fuck it all up, and like. Like, you call yourself in the name of environmentalism, no less. It's like, dude, it's very simple. Embrace death. Like, what are you talking about? That's stupid. No, this is, like, intelligent. 
First thing in environmentalism, embrace death. Stop curing the fucking diseases. We need child mort- mortality. It's not a problem. Like, here's the problem. The Catholics are right as long as they em- embrace death, right? It's consistent, right? You can't argue. If I'm a Catholic and I say no birth control and child mortality is great, are well, the environmentalists going to argue with that? Because it's a better idea, obviously. It's an intelligent answer. It's an intelligent answer, okay? Like, if, if I say true environmentalism, no birth control, plenty of child mortality, bring back the regular diseases, have war. This is clearly like 10 times more intelligent, okay? Way more intelligent. Makes the environmentalists like, God likes to make, uh, to humiliate them in the very thing they think pride themselves in. He does that, this irony and stuff. So getting back to, uh, so first of all, starting point is, let me just tell you something. Uh, the British uh, have, have, have tried to make motherhood pathetic, okay? So Emma, I'm afraid if you don't like motherhood, um, that's just a propaganda line that's been fed to you. You might consider that it's not like true, okay? How can we analyze this? Well, um, you don't think there's anything uh, inte- intelligent. You, you don't think intellect can be applied in motherhood. My mom raised eight kids. It's like first one comes out spoiled, right? But like lots of attention. Next one, now you got divided attention. Now you gotta start juggling uh, uh, strollers and shit and appointments. And like, you learn after each one, right? And like, after a while, you don't give a fuck. Like, God gave some indication of that. But in this case, you get uh, different types of people in society, right? Uh, what happens when you, uh, you overcompensate? Maybe you got a black sheep, right? Like, uh, it's all psychology. This is what the women are built for, right? They love to think about, this is what they love to think about, what they're designed to think about. Like it's a, uh, you know, uh, uh, let's just suppose a, uh, a man started fucking a, um, a tailpipe, right? It's like, this is not, uh, the man's like fucked in the head, right? So you look at these women, they got these, uh, these uh, the instincts, right? And they're like, I, I want to express this. And it, it comes out in like perverse ways, you know? It's like, yeah, that's motherhood going at a tailpipe, you know? But, well, it's kind of fucked. You know, I'm looking at it going, yeah, that, that's, that's, that woman's got motherhood instincts and uh, she's going at it with a tailpipe right now. Uh, figuratively, right? But whatever they, I would try to, try, maybe I should think of an example. But anyway, you know, the social uh, high society shit, you know? And uh, anyway, uh, they're worried about social issues and, uh, and uh, the thinking about it. They're inside each other's head. Like, here's what, um, this is what, uh, let's see. Let me, let me give you a day in the life of a mother of eight, right? So like, first of all, you got your older kids. They're, they're in, uh, let's just say, let's say the, you got one, let's say, uh, 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 you got an eight year old and you got a 12 year old, you got, uh, you know, a 16 year old, right? Now you're, you gotta, you gotta juggle these things, right? One of them's like dating, right? You got a teenager, it's like, oh my God, man, it's scary, right? Cause like they're dating, right? And they're, they're using the car and shit like that. Another one, and like they're being a bad influence on the other ones, right? But on the other hand, you got like babysitting potential. It's like now you got these older ones, you can like start using them to babysit and shit. It's a very natural thing to uh, use your kids as labor. That's fundamental to the species. So that's, that's the basis of the species. It's like, and, and the starting point, it's like, fuck yeah, get them to help with the farm. That's, that's the fundamental of the species. Get them to help the farm, get them to help, you know, get uh, men in the gates. That's what the Bible said. So we gotta analyze the species, right? It's like, do it right, right? Let's go back to how the species is supposed to work. Now there's some question as, uh, where, what point are we looking at in past history? It's a good point. So anyway, uh, um, so uh, uh, so motherhood, like, oh yeah, there's no brain work in motherhood. I mean, all it is is changing diapers. Now let me give you an example of uh, what a mother thinks about, right? So first of all, Catholics know about uh, souls, right? And spoiled souls. Uh, you know nothing about spoiled souls. So like, you don't want your kid to his soul to go to hell. You don't even know what this means, okay? So you want to raise a good kid, not some loser, okay, or some whatever. So like, um, that that takes a lot of work. Like I, I don't even know how to. Uh, I don't. I'm not. Good, I don't know. Anyway, so in other words, the uh, the, the moral formation can take uh, as much effort as you got to give. Maybe not all of it, but here's here's an example, right? Cleaning house. Let's say you're doing sweeping or something. Yeah, when you're in the house. First of all, you're boss, okay? Like women want to be boss, right? They want to be boss of the office or some shit. Guess what? In your house, you're the goddamn boss. You got eight people to boss around. Hey, go do your chores. Hey, you know, you got the feeling of authority. You can like, usually the woman gets to boss around a man. You're like, uh, t- 
and you know, to some extent, you know, like, uh, you know, they they get to uh, decide well, how the how the house is run or some shit, right? Man, just want to go to work, right? The woman, like, she's got complete control. Like, you don't you don't think this is fucking this is this is I'm saying you, you can be a you can be like like a loser, like they can't really compete with the men, and you're like bossing around, and you got them all horny, right? So now, now you get jealousy, right? So you put you put one woman in the fucking office, right? So now all the guys are like hot for her, and like now you got like marital infidelity going on, now you got jealousy and shit, all because you put this one woman there. It's like it's all it's all fucked. Like let's go put a woman in the military. Suddenly all the guys are like horny for her and shit, and it's like. Well, that's just their problem. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's fucked, okay? Stupidity. So, like, uh, basically, uh, you know, wh- what about if you pay him less? Yeah, well, now they gotta, they gotta depend on their man. Oh, that's terrible. No, it makes a strong bond. No, that's terrible. No, it makes a fucking strong bond. She ain't gonna fucking go fuck people. In the military, the, the, the nemesis is the, uh, the nigger at home fucking the wife, right? That's, that's the awful, that's the nightmare of all of them, or I don't know what the nemesis, I don't want to, the boon or whatever the fuck it is, right? That's the horror, right? Uh, they're just all, that's the worst thing, man. They're, they're off in the military, they're dying, the woman's at home banging a nigger, right? That's the, that's the horrible thing, right? So you gotta like work on this, right? Like the men are in charge, fuck you. So how do we fix it? Pay them, to pay the women shit. You gotta got your, you gotta, you gotta love your man, right? Loyalty, right? I didn't say you weren't equal. What I said is you gotta depend on your man. It's that simple. Don't take it as an insult. You gotta depend on your man. Fuck you. Like we chain you to your fucking man. It's that simple. It's not you're not equal. It's not an insult. You gotta depend on your man. It's stupidity, right? We're, we're we're stronger. As dumb fucks, we we're the boss, right? That fucking simple. That's how it's supposed to be, right? The women like it that way. They don't like weak. Like, trust me, they don't like weak. Something like that, right? You gotta be. You gotta put it back. So it's not homo. Like the homo is like completely fucked. Now like the men, like the women are like, yeah, we we want we we like it real homo. Hey, we're gonna go fuck the niggers. They're like manly. So like, you turn all the white people homo. You get the women all fucked up. And like the women are like, yeah, so we're gonna go fuck the niggers because they're manly. Like, what? Like you turn all the white people homo. You got it all fucked up. And all that's left is uh, you're gonna go. No, no, no. If you like this homo shit, you better be sticking to the white people. You got. You're not gonna go fuck the manly niggers. No, that's not acceptable. You gotta put it back so the white people are in charge and they're manly. That's the, that's the solution. You're like, oh yeah, we love it all homo and equal and shit. Then why are you fucking the niggers? Because they're manly. Duh, dumb fucks. They're, they're the big. They're security. Oh, uh, yeah, well let's go let's go kill them because like we're we're like uh, we're like letting them exist, right? It's like fuck you, bam! Like they can't fight. Okay, so like we gotta make them the white people so they are manly, okay? Because it's all fucked up once you like take the white people so they're total pusses. Once you get it all fucked up like that, you gotta be doing manual labor. Uh, as a matter of fact, vanity labor is for faggots. What you the only labor that's acceptable to build your muscles is manual labor, okay? Go fucking do a farm. I don't give a fuck, like get rid of the tractor. Do it like this, right? Fuck it, man. Don't go to the fucking gym. That's fucking that's that's vanity labor. It's banned in my country. No vanity, no vanity gymnasium shit at all. You're, you're in the military? Fuck it, just go practice digging foxholes. Fuck it. No vanity fucking no vanity labor. It's fucked. It's all fucked up. It's a big poser shit. Fuck that. You get better muscles, better control. The vanity labor is fucking evil. Fuck that shit. And so uh so uh, basically, uh, see, so here, here, here's an example of what my mom would think about. She's sweeping. She's asking herself, why did, why did Terry uh, say that to her? I don't understand, right? This is what a, a, a woman, a housewife is. She's like brooding over this, right? She's doing her sweeping. She's like trying to figure out, getting ahead of her kid. And um, Chuck Swindoll said. Um, uh, the, the most important thing of parenting is knowing your child. It's like, it's wrong if you like come out, kid comes out, and you want to make him a certain way. That's wrong. What it, what it is is you got to discover how your kid is built and adapt to his needs. And now you got to like start shuffling them as they start coming out. And you got eight in the family. The, the species is designed for like eight kids. Okay, I'm just saying, it is, right? So what are you gonna do? That's not acceptable. Well, what if, what if it's important to have like, uh, uh, you know, a spoiled mommy's boy at the end, a alpha male at the beginning, a couple uh, uh, black sheep. What if, what if it's important? It's like, 
We got we's like taking the uh, the diggers out of the fucking uh, ant colony. Are you sure that's a good idea? Oh yeah, we'll just make the nurses diggers. Uh, and then they start. You make the nurse. We'll make the nurses uh, soldiers. You start doing this shit. Are you sure it's a good idea? Like, oh yeah, we're good environmentalists. So it's perfectly safe. It's retarded. So.